Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we are going to model this part. It is relatively simpler than other videos in my channel, but sometimes I'm going to create also simpler videos for beginners. Let's create a new part here. And after this, on front plane, a sketch. After this operation, I pick here a rectangle and place on my screen. I will make coincident on my origin and then later on I will remove this edge and I will convert all three into the construction geometry height is 150 I select my center and point and then here I'm able to give a diameter here diameter 70 here diameter 120 120 and then later on, we create here one spline. Now we are going to play with a little bit spline. I select angular control point of spline and select my center line and make parallel. Here I am adding my tangency value 194 and then here I'm giving my angle, which is 45. And the tangency value is only 40. This is our shape. And now we can go to next operation. We close our sketch and we say surfaces, revolved surface. And I'm making here a revolve operation. Here we can create a planar surface on the select edge and create our surface and now we have two different body now we are going to create the other parts for that on the front plane i'm creating a sketch and on this point i'm going to create one more time a construction geometry here dimension will be 80 and I'm creating here one more line and then here one arc and by clicking my control while it's pressed I select two object simply and then adding tangency relation and here I'm going to give my radius value which is 80 here should be 20 just 20. After this operation, we are going to create one plane. I click my top plane and then I'm selecting from here a plane and I click this point. And after I'm saying OK, and I created a new plane on that desired point. After this operation, we will go create a sketch on this new plane and we look there normal to, and we can again convert this existing uh, line construction geometry and we can hide the old one now then here we are creating one arc and one more arc will follow it simply i'm going to uh, redo that i place here one arc this point to outer edge of our surface body I select my arc and point while control is pressed and I'm saying midpoint. Again, control is pressed. We give here a tangency relationship. What can be nice while control is pressed, selecting two point and making this two point vertical. Now we can give our radius values. Here we have a 40, here we have a 8, and here we have a 40 again after this operation we are going to mirror this part this is our center and i click ok we are done and now i'm going to hide my plane i'm going to show my other curve and now we go to swap surface we select this profile we select this pad and say my program 
this is okay. After this operation, I'm going to make a trim between these two surface body. Mutual should be active. Remove selection and I select two unnecessary parts. We can hide our sketch here now and go to next operation, which will be fillet. I select here variable size fillet and I'm going to put here number of instances one and I will select all my profile here. Here I have value of 20. Click this one also. Here five. I couldn't select the other. I will select from menu, which is this. And this one is 20. This beginnings are 20 and this point is five. Only we have one control point. And then after I do click my OK and I have got a shape a radius as you see on the screen. Now I'm going to make a knit surface. I will knit my bottom and the upper part merge entities will not make so much sense but let's do that. And here I'm giving a radius of 10. And after this operation, we can make a thicken. We will make a thicken inwards, which is 4. After this operation done, we are going to select a chamfer. We are going to create a chamfer a little bit bigger than 4. Let's make 4.1. And then later on, we are going to create 1 millimeter 2 time radius along these edges and then we have this nice smooth shape didn't work probably we have here a little part of surface program not able to handle then we can create change the radio chamfer value a little bit more which can consume that edge and now i can try one as you see now it worked but one seems a little bit bigger to me. And we should add these points also, these edges. Let's make this one a little bit smaller, like 0 0.5. Yes, it is looking better now. We can add here material. Chrome, brushed chrome, and a little bit looking better. We can change the display state. Yeah, it is looking nice. And we are going to create now handle part. For that, I'm going to create on front plane one sketch. And after that, we are going to create here one spline, simply two point. And then I will a little bit play with these points. Here I have a tangency. And this point have a height of 17 from bottom. And here tangency really is 100. And now I will have one more. I'm going to give this value with respect to this face here 3 degree and 119 will be our tangency value and then the height is uh, 20 if you uh, look the sketch except this one everything is fully defined Maybe we can give also an angle here. I missed that. 10 degree, it is looking nice. And now I complete my sketch. After this operation, we need two planes. Simply we pick planes on this point one. 
and on this point one another two time planes in plane two i'm going to create one ellipse this point and this point and this point will be vertical this is 8 while well, this is 20 yes I found this is a little less in fact let's make 10 by 20 and after this operation we select both extrude this dimension is 3 and direction 2 will be up to body this is the body but will not be merge result something like this in the screen should be after that operation we will repeat the same thing here we create here one ellipse this three point while control is pressed made vertical this height is 10 while this height is width is 20 and same operation will be repeated merge result will removed direction 2 will be up to body and I'm completing my operation now last operation is that creating our profile here I think we can start on this surface and we will make an offset of 2 and we select OK swap this is profile and uh, features feature scope will be here auto selected will be combined with this two little part and we can hide a bit our main body and creating here some radiuses for example let's try with radius one i have here two i will here have one maybe it's good and then here I have again a two. Yes, it works pretty good in this way. Fill it. All surface selected. Here two. In fact, this shouldn't have be, but I will not go on the detail now. Select two. And we have here one. here also will be two yes it is looking nice and I will activate my solid body and here I'm going to give another material which is copper all this body and by this operation now we complete our tutorial